shadow the new Praetorian. <laughs> The opinions in today's piece are that of the Laughing Ogre and should in no way be mistaken for the opinions of any sane human being. Now folks, is Joe Arpaio a horrible guy? Did President Trump pardon a monster? Let's find out together, cause here comes the Laughing Ogre! Okay guys, uh, so let me tell you uh, why Donald Trump actually pardoned Joe Arpaio and why it's an enormous threat to the country. Beyond overstatement, folks, I really don't think that Joe Arpaio is any huge threat to the country. He may be a huge threat to people that are simply awaiting trial in Maricopas County that have to live in Tenth City with, I believe, the highest suicide rate of any county jail. And he may be a problem for those people who are innocent till proven guilty. But to the country, no, Shink is the master of overstatement. So in order to do that, I got to go back and tell you what uh, Sheriff Joe Arpaio got convicted for uh, so that you can understand the pardon and the reasoning behind the pardon better. So uh, Joe Arpaio, of course, was the sheriff of Maricopa County. And at that point, uh, a judge had ordered him to stop uh, going and investigating people based on whether they were undocumented immigrants. Why? Well, number one, it's because that's a federal offense and uh, and has nothing to do with his job as a sheriff in Maricopa County. International drug trafficking is also a federal offense. A kidnapping folks and taking them across state lines is also a federal offense. There are many federal offenses. Are you saying that the county sheriffs across our great land should stand by and watch these crimes happen and not get involved, leave it what? Only to the FBI? Chink, this is disingenuous on a level that I'm not, I'm not ready for even from you. And so the, um, uh, sh uh, the judge. The, 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 uh, man, Chink, spit it out. I thought you were a professional talker. Gracious. Just told him. That's not your job. And second of all, in order for you to investigate people, you need probable cause. And you have to think if that there is some sort of crime that's been committed. Yeah, and he had probable cause to think that some of these people were in this country illegally. I know you can see this, Chink. So, uh, then Sheriff Joe was like, no, I don't care. Uh, I'm not going to look for a crime. I'm just gonna go into Latino neighborhoods and see if people are undocumented and, and then arrest them. What you're leaving out is he's arresting the ones that are illegally here committing a crime. And where would you go to find illegal Latinos in this country, Chank? Wouldn't you go to a Latino neighborhood, mate? <laughs> so then the judge says, look, I don't think you understand that you're not allowed to arrest people who you have no, or investigate people that you have no evidence on. And you can't just go do it based on the fact that they're Latinos, so you think they might be in the country illegally. Uh, that is unconstitutional, illegal in very clear ways. Yank will never admit it, and it's unpopular to say, but the fact is, the Constitution only protects American citizens. If you are an illegal alien here from any country, our blessed Constitution does not cover you. You have no rights here. Your best bet is to go back home. So he gives a, 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 the judge gives a ruling and then Sheriff Joe completely ignores it. Now that creates a separate problem. Never mind that the illegals are ignoring the law of our country by being here in the first place. Now the judge says, I gave you a ruling and you didn't follow it. Well, that's totally unacceptable in our system of government. So uh, you're in contempt of court. And how much contempt do you think Paco or Jose have when they come over here? No consideration for our laws whatsoever. No intent on becoming a citizen, waving their flags and enjoying their culture, not trying to assimilate at all. What kind of contempt is that? Why are you overlooking that, Chink? They then have a trial about contempt of court and, he lo and Sheriff Joe loses, he's convicted. Now he's a convicted criminal. 
Trump goes in. Now, normally what would happen is if Sheriff Joe and Trump are talking about pardons, but the normal system is you have to actually get sentenced first, you have to ask for clemency, and then the Justice Department evaluates your case. Normally you have to serve five years in prison. We've explained this in a different video. And then they bring it to the president. Now, the president legally can pardon Sheriff Joe, but he hasn't followed any of the rule of law. He hasn't followed any of the rules that you normally go through. This is just made up lies. The president has the power to give clemency or a full pardon to anyone, commute sentences at any time, because we all know that Nixon did five years, right? Before Gerald Ford pardoned him, the man that was his vice president. I, give me a break. And Colin Joe, uh, you know, he's a criminal, convicted criminal. This is a misdemeanor. It was just ridiculous. Uh, I'm sure that Chink has contempt for some Republican uh, judges somewhere. Now, if uh, if Obama had done this or Clinton had done this uh, in regards to Whitewater, etc., oh my God, the Republicans would have lost it. And this is so outside of normal, totally unacceptable. Outright lie. Not only did Obama grant 1,715 commuted sentences, but he gave out 212 pardons, the most of any president that we've had since Harry S. Truman. And what about Wendell Callahan? Uh, he gave this guy early release from prison. Obama did. Uh, he went home. He stole his, uh, he, excuse me, he stabbed his ex-girlfriend and her children to death. Okay, so he doesn't follow any of the rules. You think that's no big deal? Because you, I guess you don't believe in the rule of law. Okay, fine. And if you're a conservative, never ever again talk about the rule of law because you're lying. Well, thank goodness I'm an anarcho-capitalist and a heavy-duty libertarian. That way I don't have to have Chank Jägermeister get up on his soapbox and explain to me that I can never, ever, 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 ever say that I'm for the rule of law. I tell you what, I'm not only for the rule of law, especially and only, honestly, community law. Law that comes from our individual communities that may change from county to county, city to city, town to town. I'm all for those kind of laws, but I do enjoy a little bit of honesty from people that consider themselves in the business of spreading news and whether I like it or not, Chank Jägermeister considers himself in that business. So does Anna Casparioni and so does Alex. I got the Jones, uh, all these people do. And I have a problem with both of these sides. We need more centrists out here. We need to be more centered. We need to be based and grounded. We don't need to just, I mean, every time something happens, be it good or bad, and the pardoning of Joe Arpaio is a good thing. I'll give you my opinion on this thing. But every time something happens, good or bad, you have these people that come out of the woodwork on both sides that blackguard the left, blackguard the right. They don't even take any time to talk about the libertarians or the green parties. Very little. When they do, they laugh and scoff at them. They don't want to let them in to their club and make them apart because then there would be another voice. And good gracious, I couldn't even take any more of this from Chank. The, his voice is one of shouting someone down. His voice wants to only overpower yours. His ideas are better than yours. Donald Trump is a traitor in his mind. Therefore, if you don't believe Donald Trump is a traitor, you are foolish. You are a traitor. Heck, you are racist and a bigot and xenophobic. As far as I know, you may be claustrophobic. <laughs> but I tell you what, I'm going to put the link to this video down in the description. I advise that you watch it all. These people are frothing madmen. I'm gonna find a video from Alex Jones and do that for my next one uh, of these response. If this is a response video, whatever you wanna call it, but that's what I'm gonna do with Alex Jones. Because I tell you what, as I said before, he's no better than Chank. He's just on the other side. These people are not about, you know, having a revolution, this Young Turks revolution or this info wars and spreading information they're about spreading their information and fighting their war and leaving you behind joe arpaio needs to be free he's a man doing his job yes doing his job enforcing the law of the land and one of those laws 
is we don't allow people to just come in here without a visa, without documentation, without being invited by our country. Is Joe Arpaio a great guy? No, I can't stand the man. Hate him, in fact, in my heart. Tent City's a travesty, should be torn down, shouldn't be making men wear pink underwear and sleep out in tents in this kind of heat and feed them rotten food. You can easily find a nice little documentary about Joe Arpaio and Tent City on YouTube and it explains a lot of this. So listen folks, forgive Joe Arpaio, forgive Chank, and remember, be good to your friends, be good to your family members, be good to your loved ones. Be quick to say you're sorry, be even quicker to accept an apology, especially when that thing your friend, your family member, your loved one has done seems to be so huge, you'll never be able to forget about it. Because constant viewer, at a time you think not, your friends, your family members, your loved ones, your life, and your cause, Shank Uger, will depart from you. Ha!